Are we on? Oh! <laughs> oh! Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is PJ Davis. I'm a photographer out of Palm Beach, Florida, and this is Portraits and Discussion. time I look through these magazines, I always see something that might be cool, like BAM! Uh, I mean, if you're gonna be published, you might as well be published right, you know? I don't even know if I'm gonna say this name right, but shout out to uh, Moy Vieux magazine out in Paris. They have published me a couple times, once, with, of course, who you just saw, the homie Darian. And over the summer, they published uh, my photo shoot that I did with Olympian Gabby Scott. Yeah, so shout out to them. This is a phenomenal cover, by the way. If anyone knows who this uh, model is, I think, I think she's great. Um, I love this yellow and black look. It reminds me of... Uh, you know, Kill Bill. Yeah, this is a great magazine that showcases models, photographers, big ish. Some of my some of my favorite shots I, I've done with Darian in here, man. So shout out to Darian. Incredible. Anyway. Something to be proud of. I almost just broke my camera. That that would have been bad. There's a couple things that make a good portrait, right? First of all, confidence. The model has got to have confidence. If you show up on set and you're not confident in who you are as a person, that's gonna translate on camera and the photos are just probably gonna be whack, right? Like no one's gonna like them. I'm gonna see it a mile away. I've had situations where like, you know, I've, I've booked some models and they just were not, they are giving me poses like, you know, just, I'm like, oh, oh, show your teeth. And it's like, okay, you can you can smile. And like, you know, if, that, if I don't see them, you know, getting it out themselves, you know, I'll start, you know, I'll basically become a stand-up comic just so I can get them to loosen up. And if stand-up comedy doesn't work and we, you know, we'll probably, go to the bar real quick and take a couple shots and then come back. No, I'm joking. There's no shots, okay? There's no drinking. I'm just saying. At the end of the day, you know, I am a photographer, right? I'm a professional photographer. And if I'm asking you to shoot, then I see something in you that's that I think is going to translate really, really well on camera. So yeah, that's it. Be confident. I love studio photography like everybody else. You know, there's a lot of things you can do with studio photography, but I also like... Uh, being on location. It just works. You know, you gotta have like really, really good backgrounds, really, really good on locations. I like to really shoot outside. I like to really incorporate the elements of what's happening. I feel like I can just get more out of the photo. I feel like I can tell more of a story than just being in the studio. Don't get me wrong. Being in the studio is dope, right? I love shooting in the studio. I love incorporating all kinds of different lighting. I'd much rather be outside, incorporate the elements, and let everything roll that way. You know, also, a relationship between a photographer and a model is super important. You gotta understand, like, they're trusting you or they're paying you or whatever to go in there and knock it out the park. That's why you were chosen as a photographer, right? So whenever you get the opportunity to really be cool with the people you work with, go out of your way and maybe just, you know, send them an IG message. Hey, what up, man? How you doing? What's going on? How you been? And da 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 da. You know, follow them. Follow their content. If they got stuff coming up outside of photography, you know, maybe promote it a little bit. Or maybe you just show up and say hello. Like, I guarantee you, 
If you do that, your clients will value you more, your models will value you more, and they'll wanna come out and just keep shooting and shooting and shooting and shooting and shooting. And then you can go on and just be great, like you should have been, like you know you can be. You know, it's crazy, because sometimes I'll be talking to somebody who I want to photograph, right? And they'll be like, oh, nah, man, I'm not a professional model, and, and I don't really even know how to model. Yeah, but you don't have to be a professional model to look great on camera. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have to have these chiseled cheekbones and be 105 pounds. And like, if I see something that I think is gonna translate well on camera, then we need to have a photo shoot. If I'm asking you to shoot, there's a reason for that. And you should probably just accept it and say yes and let's go. Because I guarantee you there's something there and I'll find it and you will have these amazing photos. I mean, a uh, duh. You know, let's be let's be different. Let's let's take an unorthodox route to being great. You know, you got to take risk as an artist like you can't just do what everybody else is doing. Like everybody is doing what everybody's doing. And um, sure, there's photographers out there that are taking a lot of risk. And, and some of that, sometimes when you take risk, it's either the greatest thing you've ever done or it's just gonna flop. But how do you know if you don't take that risk? Yeah, we could all look like that, or we could all do that, or we could all dress like that, or we could all shoot like that. And that's cool, I guess, you know, but let's be different. Let's try something different. Let's, you know, look, if I could have, you know, a model swinging from a helicopter as I shut down 95 or something, like I want to do something crazy. Yeah, it's a little weird to be sitting in front of a camera. I don't like to be sitting in front of a camera. I don't even want to be doing this, but you know, I am. So, and I'm doing this for you. I mean, you know, I'm doing it for me, but I mean, I'm doing it for you. So listen, you know the vibes, you know what it is. That wraps it up for today. My name is PJ Davis. And again, I'm a photographer out of Palm Beach, Florida. And this is Portraits and the Discussion of. First of all, I'm spitting jewels right now, okay? So you all should, you know, probably listen. There are some models out there that don't want their, their you know, uh, photograph taken. I don't know why you're a model, but uh, just don't shove a camera in people's face. That's, you know, you're not paparazzi unless you're paparazzi. And if you get the camera knocked, you know, out, of your hands and it breaks and then you get punched in the face, well, you can sue. And now you're a millionaire because you just got punched in the face by some celebrity because you shoved a camera in their face. There are tons of people out there who I think would make great uh, photographs. Unfortunately though, some of them, uh, you know, their Botox is, you know, it's crazy. You know, <laughs> I had one client who was, you know, up there in age and had had some some significant wrinkles on her face. Uh, she wanted me to de-wrinkle her face. Um, I don't have to tell you what my answer to that was, but yeah, that was a no because you're like 85 and you're not 20 anymore, but you know what? We're gonna make you look good. We're gonna make you look good. But you know, you should believe in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, then you should, I don't, I don't know, go to church. You can, you know, God believes in you. How do I feel about um, uh, models wanting to do like something like super sexy, like no clothes on or something like that? You don't have to be butt ass naked <laughs> to have a to have a you know to look sexy. You know you don't. And I would highly suggest that if we're ever on a shoot, please don't be butt ass naked. <laughs> Cause I ain't going to jail. <laughs>
you ain't gonna get me in jail or, you know, arrested because you wanna be running around naked. <laughs>